Thank you so much for the movie. I had such a great joy last night. It was so wonderful. Oh, and good. moreover, it inspired me to go home and watch original manga series, uh, original movie, and yeah. to read all about it. Uh, so, And I was also like talking today and like, you filmed this movie with multinational cast. You filmed it in New Zealand, in Hong Kong, in Shanghai. And I'm wondering, how do you work with all this multinational cast on, on a daily basis? And um, also, uh, how did you work with Takeshi Kitano, of course? Um, well, you know, the beauty of a multinational cast is, is that you get lots of different dimensions. And, you know, with, when you're in a filmmaking circus, you're not, you know, the fact that everyone's multinational is very normal. You know, everyone is is very good at their jobs and they come from all over the world to make films together. Um, so we spend our lives with, with multinational um, crew and cast and, and, you know, that's part of the fun of the process. And we work abroad a lot, so we, you know, we, we, we absorb ourselves in many cultures. And um, Takeshi Kitano, I think we both had a, a great relationship with. I mean, Scarlett, you, you did all the work with him. I just had to do a bit of talking at the beginning, but what was what was your experience? Like? I, I mean, it was great to work with Takeshi because he's, you know, he's such a soulful actor, and I think you, you know, one of what, you know, the perceived challenges um, working with a multinational cast is just the language barrier mm -hmm. that you have, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think you quickly realize that, uh, you know, language is only a small part of how we communicate with one another, you know, and, um, you know, oftentimes you hear about people who meet their love and they don't speak the same language, but they just, they don't even remember that they never spoke the same language because, you know, so much of how we connect to one another is physical and through our eyes and through our spirit. And uh, it was really such a great experience to work with Takeshi because he's, like I said, so so soulful and expressive and, and really funny. I, I didn't realize that he was known as a comedian so well in Japan. I mean, really, he's... He's just outrageous the things he comes out with, um, you know. So it was, it was a, really it was a it was a deep pleasure. And talking about the movie, it's all about like for me it was all about technologies and how technologies affect our life today. So I was wondering, are you tech savvy both? Like, are you into technologies or is there something you scared of? Because you know sometimes iPhone is smarter than me, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I like. I mean, I certainly enjoy the conveniences of my phone, um, especially when it comes to you know, just the everyday conveniences of getting directions and online shopping and getting a car service and, you know, just even FaceTime is so great, especially when you work far away from your loved ones and all over the world like both of us do. Mm. But, um, you know, it's, it's, I'm also very much an analog person. I kind of, I think, rejected um, certain technologies and social media just because I, I don't even, I think I just don't have the, capacity for that kind of change in my life I I don't know maybe I just um, I'm afraid I'm afraid of uh, you know perhaps like losing some um, some like visceral real thing that like is just part of the experience of coming to contact day mm -hmm. to day with people and being face to face I don't know and because you're both parents, I was wondering, mm. like, what technologies do you use when you grow up your kids, when you're taking care of them? Like Sky calls, FaceTime? Yeah, I mean, I think, like Scarlett said, when you're away a lot, you, you use FaceTime. Um, it's quite worrying when you see kids and they're literally, they can't, you know, they can't communicate, but they're already, like, you know, tapping away on an iPad. And you see a lot of kids in strollers where they're given the iPad. I mean, it's, my kid's definitely on the iPads, you know, and their phones a lot more than than I'd like, but that, that is where we are, that's where we're going. And I think that's why this film's important, is it's, it's asking questions when we are, when we are uh, creating the future. You know, we've got to make sure that we as humans are still part of it. You know, technologies will, will eclipse us very soon and that they will ask, you know, why do we need humans still? So I think it's very important that we are ingrained in that. And I think in a, in a very metaphoric way, that's what Scarlett's character is. You know, mm -hmm. it's the humanity within the, within the technological system. And, and ultimately, you know, at the end of the film, it's how important that is, that the, the, the humanity in her survives. Mm -hmm. And what about you? What technologies do you use? Um, you know, of course I use FaceTime and also, you know, my daughter loves to watch movies. She's like a movie buff at two and a half, which is, <laughs> which is fun for me because I always like to watch movies. You know, I always looked at other parents and sort of like, 
I kind of thought, oh, I would never let my kid watch movies mm. that, like, with, with that kind of availability. I try to, you know, obviously I, I don't give her the, you know, the, the phone in the stroller or in the car. I like her to look out and experience the world around her. But I can't say that we don't kind of sit in a diner sometimes and watch, like, mm. you know, Mary Poppins together or whatever. <laughs> it's I, I, I think, you know, if I can enjoy that stuff with her and she's not doing it, she's not doing it by herself, um, then I feel comfortable, like, watching films and shows and stuff and that's it you know and I, I think I you know it's great to have music the availability of music is amazing I think as a parent I always use my my phone when she's in the bath or wherever just to keep music all around us I, and that's I think a, a nice um, it's a nice the nice part of the availability of this everything being at your fingertips you know and the soundtrack of Ghost of the Shell is the best thank you so much